course, a disappointing way to end uh, the season, losing at home. For the, I think that's the fourth time in, in a row. Um, but you can't be happy because uh, the winning goal came when you were trying to make a substitution. Yeah, you, you know, I think I talked to the press in midweek about um, the things, the things that have gone against us recently, and you know, Lewis Carey, you know, having to go back on the on the Friday. Um, you know, Darren Edwards four match ban, which was which was you know justified. Webby not justified. A couple of other decisions. The seven injuries against Gainsborough, and then you get a decision like that. You know, he was the ref that didn't see the handball against Worcester at their place, and even after seeing the video, he said he didn't handball it. The lad that scored the um, the equaliser, um, I thought the ref was okay today, but. You know, I, 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 that's what I was speaking to him after. I just in disbelief why he wouldn't let me do it. He said I didn't see a player. I said that's not your problem. I said he was ready and he was just slipping his top off. He was just slipping his top off. He was ready to come on. What he thinks he's doing there? The assessor must have been there. It was in front of the dugout. Uh, sorry, not in front of the dugout. In front of the assessor. So he was just trying to impress there. Um, I did say to him I thought he had a good game, but he got that one wrong. Um, but even then, you know, we had this problem earlier on in the season. We let in about three or four from the halfway line, um, you know, with a throw in and basically at least nine players behind the ball. Um, so that was disappointing and it wasn't a great touch that went past Dave Bird. Um, it wasn't Dave's fault, you know, just, you know, he got, he got a dodgy touch and, and that kill, killed him and, and got behind us. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you're telling me that State Staley Ridge are a full-time team and I've got Matt Rose... Mike Green, Mike Green, the, the right back, Mike Green, um, Matty Coop out injured, Tom Tom Webb, you know, only as a sub, the one I wanted to bring on to make us stronger, out injured, Will Morford, who's just got Player of the Year, and they're full time, and I've got a goalkeeper from three three or four leagues below, Sam Rawlings, who's played ten games, Manny, who's never played left back, Jack Harris, who's never played left back. I'm not sure what the average age was of those five. I think we cope, cope pretty well. Scott, Scott Wilson playing his third ever game. Um, I think we can be pretty pleased pleased with that, really. Um, they give a bit of a lesson to start off with. Scotty and Darren weren't at the races, and they were causing the problems. And when Theo went up there, that changed a little bit. Um, but it's like Coopy said at half-time. You know, Chelsea didn't have much of the ball against Barcelona, and I didn't feel we worked as hard as we wanted to, and we certainly didn't work as hard as we did last week, and that was causing the problem. Maybe there was a bit, there was a bit of tiredness um, from obviously the, the do last night and things like that, but um, you know, you've got to get on with it, and we, we give them a game in the end. I think we can be pleased with that. Uh, I think the bane of this season, as well, certainly as team selection goes, has been players being suspended um, for picking up red cards, which we've had another one today. Uh, and also, uh, Darren Edwards got himself mixed up with a defender and kicked out in, him, uh, in the penalty area, and that could have been another one if he'd have been spotted. That's got to stop, hasn't it? Well, I didn't see that one, but yeah, if it was, then yeah, he, you know, he's got to stop. He's got to stop that. But you know, there, there's ways of doing it. You know, look at their nine. He was doing it all game. Fair play to the nine. He played well today. Um, you know, put himself about a bit, but you know, don't think he got the better of Jack Harris or Tom Hamlin. And uh, and Jim seems to think he might be moving on. But you 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 know, to begin better things. But no, you, you know, it, that, that's just one of those. And you know, players will be hit in the pocket as they have been this season. And it's something we'll talk about in pre-season. But. You know, over, overall, you know, to lose the last five home games, which it is, is obviously disappointing. Um, but there were there were reasons for that. You know, you, you know, I can't do a pre-season and say right, the ref's going to not let your player on here. You've got to stay alive. You know, but we we got to learn from all these these little things that have gone against us. And um, that was just another one today. Just you, you know. Just unbelievable, really, some of the things that have gone on. But it is what it is. You've said Jack Harris has done well against the nine. Uh, is centre half a future position for him? Yeah, possibly, possibly. But you, you, you know, he, he's a good defender, and you know, it shows that I can play him in another position now. So, you, you know, um, I think left back might be his one at the moment. You know, you look at Manny there. There's no presence. You, you know, the, the little little black lad up front hardly nudged him, but he came out with the ball. Um, but you know, Manny's better further up the pitch. So you know, um, everybody's got their jobs in the team. But at least I've been able to look at that. You know, that's why I put R R Lockie right back. You know, um, I know he's played there before. I wanted him to get forward in the, the final few things, which isn't Sam's game. You know, he had the chance when he put the cross in and he put it straight into the goalie. You know, just wanted a bit of whip on the ball and maybe Lockie getting forward, which he was doing. He just had a bad touch, and then well, the rest is history. And, and you know, the ref got that one right.
Well, uh, Will Morford's been named player of the season, as you just said. Uh, he's just passed 200 games for the club as well, uh, while you've been here as well. Um, how's he, how, how have you viewed his progression as a player over those games? Well, we, when I sat him down in the summer and obviously Simo had gone and he knew that, um, I, I sort of said, I, I, I think you could be a conference player, but you have to get a bit, a bit like their number nine, you know, and Darren Edwards get a bit more fire in your belly, and you know, not just play because you love the game. And I think he's done that this season. But when we have our chat in the next couple of weeks, we'll be having a similar sort of chat. He's just got to get that a bit more aggression into him and and sort of fire in his belly. But you know, he's had a good season, and um, you know, he's not even at his prime yet. Um, and you know, over the next two or three years, hopefully, we he can get that into his game, and it, he, he'll want to do it because, you, you know, when you look at last week to this week and the work rate of the team, or on the heart rolling, it wasn't quite there in that first half. They didn't really want to do it. Um, and when we got it right, and all right, okay, Scott, he's only a young lad, and and that, and that was a bit of naivety. But fair play to Scott. You know, I changed it, and he done well on the right. And uh, something to look at because he's got the energy. But we didn't work as hard as last week. But maybe that was a mental thing, um, more, more than anything. Um, you know, see, seasons. You know, there wasn't as much to play for. We said there, there certainly wasn't. But that that will have to change because, you know, we want to go the next step now. You know, hopefully we're going to be in a higher position. Um, well, we are because we've got more points. Doesn't you know? And, and Webby would have played if there'd been something on it. So, you, you know, we just you know they can't. It's consistency. Jerry Francis, when I was at Rovers, the year we won it was always about consistency. And when we lost our first game of that season, I think it was the Bolton, believe it or not, um, he said, right, go on another run. It was nine games, or five or five or nine games, and, and we did that, and we, we ended up going up. So, you know, I'm not saying we're going to win the league next year, but, you know, we can definitely do that. You look at Darren Edwards missed seven games, I think we scored one goal in that, um, and that was Birdie's worldie. Um, Coopy's missed probably seven games because he, he's probably gonna, not going to be fit next week. You know, Webby missed a month. Darren Mullins missed a month. You know, sort of key players in, in that. Jack Harris has missed most of the season again. So if we can get them all fit and, and sort of wanting that fire in their belly to go and achieve something, you never know. You never know. Well, looking at how the season's finished and how close it's been for relegation, and it's, it's still a lot to play for at the top, has that indicated that it's been uh, a lower standard? in the league this season or uh, have we improved? It's a hard one to call isn't it? You, you, you know I, I think we've definitely improved because there's not many games you thought hold your hand up and say we were well beaten you know two years ago we were getting well beaten by Stadley Bridge and you know look, how, look who we had out today and, and we've given them a game and uh, you know a couple of clear, clear we had more chances in the first half as well as they played they had one shot you know, Chris picked the ball out now. That's all he's done first half. Um, so, you know, yeah, the, is the league stronger? It was. It's a funny league, isn't it? It's just been a funny league this year, and it goes on that. If we'd have 46 points, which we got last year, or 47, we'd be, we'd be in real trouble. But we're not. We, we, we've got more, and you know, we, we, we've we've played a few of the young uns today, and, and we'll do a couple next week as well. Well, next week, Colwyn Bay. That was arguably one of our poorest performances at home this season, where we lost 1 0 to them. Um, I think they'll have something to play for. Uh, how's it going to go? Well, you know, we've got to respect the league and the, and the teams in it. And, um, you know, it's a bit of a roll call at the minute. Morph's going to be touch and go. Mike Green will be touch and go. Um, I'd like to give Muzzy, Muzzy a chance, and you know I know he ain't going to let me down, and, and, and all that. And, um, and 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 George George played at Nuneaton, so there's no reason why he can't play at Colwyn Bay. And then I'll pick the strongest team um, around them this week. You know, um, I told the players before. You know, if you want to play next week, go and show me how much you want to play. And in the first 20 minutes, forget what was going on. We weren't working as hard as we worked the, the, the previous week. And when we did start working, they didn't look that special. Goalie putting it straight up in the air, right back kicking it out over our heads. They weren't that good of footballers. We just made them look good because we didn't want to work as hard as we did last week. Okay, thank you, boss.